All right, uh, let's go do some puzzles. I'm not ready for this, but I'm never ready for this. Luckily, we can redo everything as much as I want. Colby, stop fighting with your sister this instant. The kittens seem extra rowdy today. Is something going on? Oh, Kieran just gave him a new toy. She means well, but now I have to deal with the mayhem. You might be on your own today. I've got to separate these wrestlers. You can count on me, sir. I'm sure you know all about ovens, but when you're in a duel, though, uh, it's, it's tough to remember everything. So when you've got multiple dishes to make, just remember to start one in an oven immediately. The oven will do its work while you're out collecting more ingredients. Wish I had an oven for yesterday's two-judge duel. Okay. So we have... A slow cooker slowly promotes taste gems. Let's pick this up. Oh, I can add it. Huh. Okay, I can just put it down. Put this here in the slow cooker. I was kind of curious about this. So it's real slow. That said, it's not that slow. Like, how long would that take? This would take a while, but like imagine if, uh... Imagine if I was... If I threw all the ingredients in early we'd be golden. The one question is, does it go up to T3 ever? I don't actually know. I kind of want to just let it go. This would this would have been a good a good time to go eat, um, but this is a great opportunity for me to test out how the uh, slow cooker works. Because imagine if I could just start a match, go out, kill like one thing five times or something like that, chuck all the stuff in the slow cooker, and just let it run over the course of the match. Done. Or at least done enough that I come back and throw in, like, the, a couple of key ingredients. Because this doesn't take that long. And most matches are, like, 7 to 10 minutes long or something like that. And we've only been here for about a minute and a half. Very real possibility we'd be able to, uh, to have, like, an entire crock pot full of glory, effectively. Let's see. So, Wander, what did you eat before this episode started? Yeah, I, I refuse to play this game on an epi empty stomach. I did that yesterday, and it was awful. Um, I had a uh, slow cooker. We, we slow cook pork uh, about once a week, and that usually gives us a week to half a week, half a week to a week's worth of, of uh, just slow cooked meat to use for whatever, which is almost always just these like barbecue wraps. Uh, which is just the meat, some gouda cheese, in a tortilla with barbecue sauce on it. It's not exactly the most healthy thing ever, but it is a quick bite and it's usually pretty filling. Now here's here's what I wanted to check. How slow is it to get up to level 3? It's the same damn speed. I'm sure he wanted me to do a puzzle here, but like, this works. Nicely done. Why don't you take that oven with you? I've got a spare in the back that I can use. I'll just need to clean out the cat hair. So I just get a free slow cooker. Holy shit. Thanks, Belkior. I sure hope he remembers to clean that, oven, uh, that other oven. This'll be an easy one. Just debone it first. No problem. I guess that's what this cutting board is for. Okay, uh, cut out. So... Oh, I see. Chop. Oh. I see. Leave, pick up, put down, pick up, put down, let's see, cut out, there we go. Yeah, so you have to alternate there. And I suppose I'm supposed to add them together, but we need some space. Um... Let me see, do we have any extraneous things here? Not overwhelmingly. He said debone it. But, wait, can I... 
So I can't cook either. So I'm going to have to cut out... I'm honestly not sure what I'm supposed to cut out, cut out here. I'm just going to cut out this one. Worst comes... No, I didn't mean to do that. Well, shit. Goal was 32. Yeah, I messed up. I, I cut out one of these things. Okay. That's the nice thing, though. These puzzles are entirely just uh, tutorial time. Okay. So let's just... Let's just cut... Yeah, why did the green crystal break so fast? I have no idea. Wonder, can you have two slow cookers? Because there was one in the shop. Maybe. Okay. So, goal is 75, and we've got a... We've got slime eggs. Well, let's cook what I can first. Uh, let's see. But yeah, it would be interesting to see if I could have multiple slow cookers. That is a possibility. Uh, even if it's kind of a minor one. I'm trying to think of what else there would be, actually. Uh, let's see. So this will turn something green and something red. Well, if we stir... Pantry. I think that's perfect. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Nope, wrong way. There's one. Uh, there's two. And there's three. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'd love to see if I could have multiple slow cookers, but having a... Not a successful day. Thank you for your help, Mina. Having a regular skillet, a cutting board, and a slow cooker would probably have the most versatility. I'll have to I'll have to think about that. Hello. How's it going, Leonid? Very well. I hope to earn my third win soon. I'm thinking of challenging Thrash next. He's a fiery guy, so be careful. Outside of battle, he's just a big old softy though. <laughs> I heard he's he has a family back home. Is that true? Yeah, why do you ask? I can only imagine being so far away from your family for this long must be very hard. You don't have anyone waiting for you back home? No, but I do feel but don't feel bad. My love is my work. I know how you feel. Growing up, uh, a lot of my free time was spent cooking while all of the other kids were out playing. Yes, I regret it a little bit. But I suppose the time we've invested has paid off. I hope so. Going home without achieving anything would be the worst. Just keep trying to do your best. You too. Thanks, Leonid. Now, if only I could decide whether these pickled lava peppers are a good investment or not. Alright, so let's go shopping for a second. Let me see. So, most of these are useless. I already have a slow cooker, which means I can't get another one. So, a cutting board is probably, uh, high. Serve a dish that was sauced three times. See, that sounds interesting. And the explorer one, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to do. We've got all the kitchenware you need. And hey. then some. Hey, Mina! I think you'll find today's items particularly cool. If not, I'll eat my belt. That's not necessary. Please don't. Thank you, Mina. If you're big on reading, unlike my brother here, we've got several fascinating tomes. L Louis is the book. Eh, Louis is the bookworm. But even I know they can give you an edge in battle. Awesome. I'll check them out. D did you kill all those monsters by yourself? This lot. These are just the leftovers. I've sent the rest as a gift. Uh... I... okay. I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do. So, Cragmore shells. Looks like these guys have hella bones. Which I guess kind of makes sense. Uh, do we even have anything... ...worth anything? Okay, so what's this? Okay. 
I'm confused. These don't look like your your regular. Okay, so there's like a weird fire dog who hurts. Doesn't look like there's anything more over there. I might die here. Oh, geez, yeah. I am near death. I'm just gonna wait for my HP to recover then. So this is this is gonna be something I have to worry about. Cause yeah, I've gotten rid of most of my um Ow. I've gotten rid of most of my things. Yeah, that's like a, a new resource or something. Okay, we've got this, which has poison in it. Okay. Stupid weird dog thing. Okay, the weird dog thing is a bit hard, but has basic, basically good ingredients. Yeah, a lot of poison today. Jeez, they fly forever. Okay. Yeah, the there's a lot of potential damage here, which is kind of scary. So that's... Oh! Are the cracked ones, do they get rid of? They probably get rid of whatever that is. Got a lot of poison. Nothing there. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. So, look, aha! Yeah, there's always like another weird little thing. Instructor, maybe you should go next door and visit Belchior. Spending time with his cats could be good for you. You want me to end up like that old fox smothered in cats? Maybe you'd prefer being surrounded by living things instead of... How dare you insult my collection! You have no idea how hard I fought to earn these trophies. I'm deeply sorry. I didn't mean to... Leave! When you return next, you had better come with more respect. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. What's up? Having fun? Yeah, this little guy's the best. Do you have any pets? We have a cat back home, but he's a terror. He always knocks cookware over then hides behind my sister. Ha! No pets for me. Two kids is enough trouble. But I can enjoy a guy, uh, this guy while I'm here. Who's a good pup? Maybe I'll get a dog someday. <sighs> Until next time, Tita. Take care. Hey, mister. Looks like you're finally having a good day. You. Don't be so nosy. What's this? No way, it's a love note written on a crescent receipt. It must be for Pontita. And did I hear you say that you'd give it all away to find the love who will stand by your side? You have a beautiful voice. Oh, thank you, recruit. Don't think I'll let you slack off because I'm in a good mood. Wouldn't dream of it. All right, cook. Well, that's easy. All right. This is less easy. Never mind. Really easy. Thank you. Okay. Why are these weirdly Delicious. easy right now? I have no idea. I guess oh, it's because it's supposed to be uh, kind of mildly inconvenient. Oh. There we go. Mm. I. Oh, this is perfect. Die. Uh. Thank you. I feel like I'm doing something wrong, but. Very much appreciate. This is like it's good. weird easy mode. Okay, not gonna That's question good. it. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. There we go. Oh, um, thank you, dearie. Huh. Thanks. I. Oh, this smells delightful. Thank okay. You. Donkey. And there we go. That was really weird. Yeah, the timer was really short this time. Pontita's been so happy today. And that's the most I've ever gotten out of Caesar. Pontita! Yes? Should I give it to her? I think they might actually be good for each other. I, uh, 
I just wanted to say thanks for this opportunity. You're welcome, Nina. Now get out of here, recruit. You've worked hard enough for today. It's not my secret to tell. Alright, so we can challenge people, but I think I should go... I think I should go shopping. So, realistically, we need that cutting board. We got the slow cooker for free, which is nice. I'd like to get the saucier, but the cutting board is important. Because if we don't get that, we're in trouble. So we could challenge Thrash, or we could go up against this guy. I could also go after Caesar. Uh, Caesar. Hmm. Let's try challenging him. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Sir, would you please do me the honor of a duel? Huh. Come on, you aren't afraid of me, are you? Ha! <laughs> I don't feel like wasting my time. How can the next generation improve if you're constantly sitting on your butt, smoking pipe, and throwing around insults all day? You brought it on yourself. Leave a sleeping dragon be. Well, I hear you only need one more win on your belt, and so do I. How about this? If you win, I'll pretend you don't exist, and you can keep on being a grump sitting on an alley. But if I win, you gotta try to be nicer to people. You're not very good at bargaining, are you? <laughs> well, I'll take you on if it'll get you off my case. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. Don't do it as your last one. See, I just kind of want to do it today because... Okay, so I'm actually going to get rid of the winged boots, I think, in, uh, in favor of the health up. Oh, whoops. Do I? I it's really tempting. Yeah, let's go after the dwarf. I always press the wrong button. Okay, try the combo. Yeah, that's that's the plan. You mean this combo, cutting board and slow cooker? Fine. Let's see if we have to go up against two people or what. Welcome once again to the most invigorating exhibition of culinary excellence in all of Victusia. Yesterday we mourned with contestants who suffered their second loss, and cheered those who dazzled our judges' persnickety palates. Like the pounding tides of the Silian Sea, the Iron Stomach seems unstoppable. Mina! Our next contestant declined to provide a title, saying, I don't need a fancy title to make great food. I present Caesar! <clears throat> Caesar! Today, these chefs seek to please two of the sharpest minds of our age. The first I'm proud to present is Instructor Meridane! At ease, Chairman. You are no longer a student of mine, after all. My attention is focused solely on the techniques of these chefs. Be careful not to oversaturate today's dish with bold flavors. Doing so will bury the intoxicating crispness of water. The next judge is the famed Grand Matriarch, Hasjil! With each challenge that passes, these chefs reveal more of themselves through their creations. I look forward to learning more today. Forging for ingredients is a vital skill. So today, I ask you to scour the Skylands for a bit of earth to ground your dish. This Skylands delicacy used to be so rare 
that it was exclusively eaten by royalty. Even now, collection requires a chef with sharp eyes and the speed of a tempest. Wind fruit! Oh, I know where that is. Vive la brigade! All right, so we're not going to the caves, which is probably for the best. This might still take a, a try or two, because I don't remember what the ingredients list is. Because we've got the, like, little ratkin creatures. But that's... I, there's a lot of earth. And earth and water. And bone. Which I can work with bone. Oh, there's a hell of a lot of water now that I remember. Okay, nochi fruit. Not the most uh, useful stuff, honestly. Okay, so I want to go beat down on that turtle. A bunch. Okay. What's this one? Iceberg turnips are also pretty good. And he's gone. Why? A lot of earth. But where the hell did the turtle go? He had to go. His people really did need him. Okay. And that's a bunch of fire. So that's actually something that we don't want. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of go for him, because if I remember right, this guy takes... has some serious water. Okay, and that's garbage, so I'm just gonna grab one of these. Grab a wind fruit. The problem is, the wind fruit is, like, pure fire. Comparatively. Okay. Well, in that case, uh... Pantry, slow cooker. So we've got one wind fruit, I'm gonna toss it in. And we're going to do watery sauce. Okay. Amarok. Ribs. Okay. And we don't want ketchups. Let's do one of these turnips. Okay, let's pick this up actually for a second. We're gonna put it down. Let's cut out the uh Let's cut that out. And cut this out. Pick this up, put it down. We've got four minutes left. Uh, should be fine. So I'm just gonna put in an iceberg turnip. Or, yeah, iceberg turnip. Okay, I'm just gonna let that go. Let's go get some sky fruit. Ice, ice, uh, we need the remaining two sky fruits. And whatever these are. Those sound kind of interesting. A lot more water stuff. Oh, I didn't start it cooking. Shit. There we go. Yeah, if it's not done yet, we'll just uh we'll just reset. Damn it. Well at least I have no ingredients on me. I really need to double jump for this. The caves I didn't need it for. But for this, I needed it. Now these guys, these guys give me the red red juice, which we don't want. Energies. Where did I put that blasted spatula? Do you need help looking for it? I'm happy to come over and stay where you are. Or I could just stay here. Okay, that's interesting. The wind fruits have re regrown. <laughs> They didn't do that last time. Okay, so we've got some more of those. These these iceberg turnips are are actually more useful. I don't know what nope means. That's confusing. Okay, armor Amarok liver and another iceberg turnip. They didn't I just took one. But I uh I did just take one, you're right? Wind fruit. Wind fruit. Wind fruit. Okay, let's just cook what we've got. Uh, I've got three. Okay, that seems to be going just fine.
Now, the one problem is we've got a hell of a lot of fire here and not a whole lot of water. Pantry. Uh, Amarok heart. Seems useful. Amarok liver. And we've got earthen sauce. Okay. So I need more water here. Bad. Let's pick up. Let's put it down here. Cut out. How much time do we have? I'm gonna cut out the extra fire. We don't we don't need it. Put it here. Now I do have some more sauce, but I don't think I really want to mess with that. And I've got turnips. Okay. Oh, this is earth dish. You're right, this is an earth dish. Which means I I'm fine. Actually, this this makes it easier. Much easier. Okay, uh... So you wanna cycle this. Cycle this. Those are, those are maxed out, yeah? Perfect. Okay, uh, so in this case, do we want nochi fruit? No, we want iceberg turnips. Okay, we've still got a minute left. Pantry. I really like these iceberg turnips. So I'm probably going to focus fire on them. A little bit. Let's see. I might have to go get one more. I'm not going to be able to. Okay, so in that case, let's just cut out. Gotta hurry. Okay. Pantry. I'm just going to add... Bear script tail. Can't do that, but I can do this. And can't do anything else. Pick up. Oh shit. Earth. Serve. There we go. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. I made the same dish twice. Uh, I hope that's not a problem. A delicacy. King Bean Musaka. There's King Bean here? You had certainly adapted well. The water brings a freshness without adding unnecessary density. Now, here's a hint of excellence. Quite good. Scrumptious. Windfruit fried rice, topped with watery sauce, and Amarok heart melange. Beautifully hydrating. That water is a nice antidote to this summer day. I give you top marks in every category. This is a truly remarkable dish. Oh, quite delicious. Cheap she egg tiramisu, topped with Amarok liver and earthen sauce assortment. Yeah, I don't have access to those things. Earth is the perfect stabilizer. You've captured it beautifully in this dish. A clever blend of flavors and textures. I can tell you have a keen sense for complementing complementary elements. Positively superb. Windfruit fried rice served with Amarok heart and Amarok liver assortment. The earth is both pure and beautifully complex. Well done. The energy is in... Uh, are in perfect harmony in this dish. I can taste your excitement and determination in every bite. It seems no iron skillet can stand up to the might of the iron stomach. Mina Han wins! I did it! Yeah, so the, uh, the slow cooker truly is going to be the key to victory. I just have to remember to get it going earlier. Uh, for even more points. Match well thought, sir. Ah, uh, can it? Eh? We had a deal. <sighs> I'm starving. Wanna go grab a bite at Crescent? This, uh, wasn't part of the deal. You're hungry, too. I heard your stomach rumbling earlier. Fine. Eh, and here. It was my daughter's from when she was little. 
but I have no use for it. It would suit you better. Thank you. So, you have a daughter? What's she like? Quiet. Is that a description or a command? Yes. Alright. Stoic's Pan, given to you by Caesar, the Grumpy Dwarf. Dwarven magic allows you to allows four matched level one taste gems to produce one level three taste gem. Oh yes! That's perfect for what I do. <laughs> <laughs> 